See? That was the intro. Now I don't need to cut the YouTube video. Because I just started recording once I played the intro. It all works out. Also, it didn't work out. OBS is having some issues with muxing right now. So, actually didn't work out. Wait, let me... I had some coffee. I'm going to get some more coffee. Hold on. This is the Icelandic way of drinking coffee. You just, uh... Drink it until you drop. Actually, I heard that uh, white people are more likely to be addicted to coffee than other people. It's a very high correlation. So, I'm an addict, but you know, it's okay. As long as it's not weighing me down in life, you know. About to spend all my cash. Sweet, sweet coffee. Black gold, as it's called. But we're gonna do day 11. Let's uh, have a sip. Pretty cold coffee. Anyway, uh, day 11, let's go. Ooh, wow. We're gonna be parsing. So, okay, now we're on the plane again. So we were on the plane, and then for for some reason we were like taking a ferry. Apparently something happened in day 12. Let's see. So your plane lands with plenty of time to spare. The final leg of your journey is a fer Oh, okay. So we just land. Okay. That goes right to the tropical island where you can finally start your vacation. We're just waiting out of the board. The ferry, you realize you're so early. Nobody else has even arrived yet. By modeling the process people use to use to choose or abandon their seat in the waiting area pretty sure you can predict the best place to sit you make a quick map of the seat layout seat layout fits easy up on a grid each position is either floor an empty seat or an occupied seat for example the initial layout might look like this now you just need to model the people who will be arriving shortly Fortunately, all people are either and are entirely predictable and always follow a simple set of rules. All decisions are based on the number of occupied seats adjacent to a given seat. One of the eight positions immediately up, down, left, right, or diagonal from the seat. Following rules apply to every seat simultaneously. If a seat is empty and there are no occupied seats adjacent to it, that seat becomes occupied. If a seat is occupied and four or more seats adjacent to it are also occupied, the seat becomes empty. You guys recognize these rules? I think it's the game of life. I think it's literally the game of life update rules. Any live cell with fewer than two neighbors dies, and life cell with two or three neighbors lives on, Okay, so it's not quite, but it's a cellular automaton. We're going to be doing cellular cellular automatons. Which is good. They're good. They're good stuff. Okay, floor. No changes. Seats don't move. Nobody sits on the floor. After one round of these rules, every seat in the example layer becomes occupied. Second round seat with four or more occupied adjacent seats become empty again. This process continues for three more rounds. At this point, something there's nothing. The chaos stabilizes and further applications of these rules causes no seats to change state. Once people stop moving around, you count 37 occupied seats. Simulate your seating area by applying these seating rules repeatedly until no seats change state. How many seats end up occupied? All right, let's go. Hmm. I love that smiley. It, it, it's me. Uh, Maybe I should put like a notification on Twitter that I'm up again. Because nobody showed up. I told people. Show up. They're not here. Let me see. Uh, let me see here. Alright. After a short break, we're back up with day 11 of hashtag 
advent of code in hashtag Casco. It's all about the hashtags. Yeah, Oscar, you're here. I think it's you to me. One more. Probably just you. Okay, we're doing it for you, Oscar. Let's just... Let's get it. Let's get done. Let's get this done. So... What am I trying to do? This thing, right? Yeah. Okay, day... 10. Timmy. You know, my grandma... She used to drink coffee right before bed. And, uh... Excuse me if I channel some grandma today. Get... Add a day. Let's add these first day. We got these else we'll... Lest we forget. So we're actually going to do... Star.hs. And then get... Star... Star input star. Wow. Optimal. Get commit M. It's doing dishes. That is a classic. Very classic. Uh, day 14. You know, as long as I have to me and Oscar. You know, now we have like half of the half of the viewers are active chatters. You know, it's about quality. All right, let's see. Day 11. Um. Yeah, let's create new file. Day 11.hs. Let's create another file. Test input. So, Timmy, I assume. I think I restarted the stream. So it changes colors. It like picks random colors for you. Oh, hey, Billy. Billy? Cake. Coffee. Yeah. Talk about the coffee, right? This is our test input. So, Tim, I assume you just simulated it, right? Do -do 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 -do. And that's not too bad, right? Or did you have to wait? Five days. It's still running, is it? I think it's still running. Nah, I think it probably took uh, dozens of milliseconds. That's not too bad. Uh, module main, main where? Okay, now we're going to treat this as an array. Import data dot array dot unboxed. We are going to be doing 2,200 milliseconds. Shoot. That's two seconds. Ta-da. Okay. Uh, we actually need uh, data.area.unboxed. Let's see. View array. So we are going to say here. So uh, let's first get the input. Get data. Uh, no, get input. File path to U array. I O U array. We're going to have integers. And we're going to have. Integers? Booleans? We can't do booleans, right? We need three values. Let's have chars. Let's just do it crazy style. Input uh, fp equals. Okay. So we are going to say, you know, where. So cause we're gonna. So we're gonna take the lines. So we're gonna fmap lines over read file. Now, uh, from lines, 
But it's gonna be a 2D array, right? And we need a vector, I think. I think vectors have, uh... Ish, I don't think we have vectors. You are a... I don't think we can do two-dimensional indexing. Okay, uh, we'll just have to update it one at a time, right? So, I mean, the trick is, I guess, figure out when it will stop. Let's see. You count 37 occupied seats. Seats. Okay, let's let's look at it for a bit and see if we can like detect when it's gonna stop. I mean, but it's like a chaotic system. I think it's gonna be super hard. So four or more seats adjacent to it and adjacent given seat up down left right or diagonal Oosh. Thinking how we can do this. Could just have a set, right? Set of pairs. I think I'm going to try and use a set. This is using a set, not a set of pairs. So, let's write that. Um, pairs and neighbors. Howdy, neighbor, right now. Int two. Let's wait with this. Int two. Int. Int. Set of int comma int import a data dot set as set import qualified data dot set uh, as set then this should be like this neighbors neighbors of uh, x comma y equals set dot from list how is ORD defined for pairs? Zero comma one, zero comma two. So uh, this is less than is equal. This is less than. So it compares on the first one first. And then on the second one. Set dot from list. From ask list. So we will have... 
Let's see. Let's, let's see. Uh, sip. X minus one. X. So minus one comma minus two mi uh, minus one zero one. Uh, one comma no minus one zero comma one. This is this. Well, can we do F map? Uh, X F map of the X Y X comma Y applicative applicative Oosh. So, what is the type of applicative? It's, it's like a, it's like a, a cool trick with applicatives to do all make all the pairs. Import a, a set x type type a application. Oh, need to do a colon. What is it called? Type. Oh, applications. Yeah. Okay. So this at the list constructor takes in a list of a comma b yeah so so we're gonna say f map Functor f of a to f of b. Now all of this. What was the trick? Maybe we skip the F, yeah? Yes. Ooh, maybe. It's going to be a list of functions. Oh, we have to use a star. There we go. Minus one, comma, zero, comma, one. Nice. Nice. Okay, so this is gonna be. So, okay, the minus one, minus one, zero, minus one, zero, 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 one, 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 one. Set from ascending list dollar. Uh, X, Y, a X, Y to 
X. No, this is gonna be X plus A, uh, Y plus B. This applied to minus one comma zero comma one. Star applied to minus one comma zero comma one. Gonna be a set of neighbors. Yeah, but no, this is okay. Eh. Eh. I need it for the generation, right? Let's try this out. Still in no weekday eleven. Uh, so we got the minus one, 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 three, two, two, one, and two, two is missing because it's just the neighbors. Works. It works. Let's see. So let's check. Okay, so so we will read here. Get input. So this is just going to be a set of int comma int. So we're going to get from lines. So this is going to be sip lines. Fmap. like list comprehensions I do not like them okay I don't want to be using list comprehensions anyway let's I, I should be talking more here let me have some coffee I mean I like I like just mapping things doing it that way that's my that's what I do um, So this is going to be I comma uh, I here I need to say some tuple syntax stuff uh, LN uh, Filter equal L second. And here I need something called tuple sections. Like this. And now it's complaining that set dot from list. From line takes in I int comma strings 
and returns a list of int comma int am i wrong uh yeah so this is a list of characters it's gonna be sip a one comma a yeah and uh, okay let's just map it directly now what's the issue here oh uh I comma I don't care about the character here. That works. Uh so f now we will read the file. What's the issue here? Yeah, yeah. So from line should take a list of strings. So it should take a string into should have int command int nines and it's because I don't okay now this line is correct and uh, What's the type of this home? So take a list of integer comma string to a setup int. And this hole should take a list of lists of int. All right. I have to join. Or just use concat map. Right, so let's see. Do print neighbors to do. Uh, get input. Test input. Uh, into print. I never, like... Windows using backslash for paths is always so weird. Okay, so we have zero one two three five zero one blah, 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 blah. sweet. And let's see, zero and zero one is not there. Zero one is not there. Yeah, good. So in fact, it's gonna be x coordinate. So this is gonna be the y coordinate. So let's let's say uh, let's not mix those up. So it goes, so this is going to be, so this is going to be y comma x actually. Um, let's say here j, j comma i. Otherwise we'll get confused later I think. So we have 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. Okay, yeah, this set is in order anyway. Okay. That's still like this. No, I mean, okay, so this, this is gonna be fine. And like constructing this input is gonna take nothing. So we don't have to do like ask list stuff. 
Hi, right, if you're just joining us, we're doing day 11 of having to code because I took a break to travel those two days, uh, day 11 and day 12. We haven't done them yet. We have done 13 and 14. You can find them on the channel. And soon we'll be done with day 11. So, this is going to be a give us a set of map. Okay, so. Update. Set. So, this is going to be the map. It's going to be the... Occupied. And this is going to be the new occupied. Update. Map. Occupied. Equal. So. Let's call it seating. Seating and then occupied. Okay. So for every node, we're going to generate its neighbors and check if four of those are in the seating. Uh, so we're going to say this is going to be set dot from list from ask list actually. Set from distinct ask list. That is crazy stuff. That's gonna be fast, bro. Set from distinct ask list. Now, this list here is going to be. So for each node, so we map over the set. Um, this is actually gonna be... Okay, do we have filter for sets? Filter. Set filter. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we have set dot filter. So this is we're gonna we're gonna filter uh, uh, <laughs> will be occupied. We're gonna define that, and we're gonna filter the seating. And we're gonna where will be occupied int comma int to bool will be occupied. So for a given given a uh, loc, we're gonna say we're gonna say okay we're gonna check. Um, we're gonna say. We're gonna take the neighbors of loc. Uh, we're gonna take a. So we're gonna take the un like the only the ones that are uh, that intersect. Set dot intersection of seating. So these are the ones who are not floor. Okay, where a valid neighbors. So this is going to be, so the set dot size of valid neighbors set dot intersection with occupied larger than so if the C if a seat is empty and there are no occupied seats adjacent to it 
Okay, so let's let's see what we're thinking here. If a seat is empty and there are no occupied seats. Okay, so 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 this here num occupied neighbors is going to be this set here. So we're if a set is seat is empty. So we will say if loc set dot member uh, so if it is occupied. So if it's not occupied, let's say that, because that's how it is in the instructions. If it's not occupied, then we return, if it is not, if it is not occupied and there are no occupied seats adjacent to it, uh, then we say, then we say valid neighbors. I have to set dot size of num occupied neighbors. So then that means so if, if if this city is not occupied uh, and <laughs> and there are no occupied num occupied neighbors. So then we say, okay. Okay, let, then we just say num num occupied neighbors equals zero. So if it's not occupied and there are no occupied seats adjacent to it, if this seat becomes occupied. Else. So if it is not occupied, then we check. And four or more seats adjacent to it are also occupied, then the seat becomes happy. Set dot size. Uh, oh, this is already a, an integer. Four or more. So if it if it is an element of occupied and there are more than four okay, let's let's do it actually like this okay if the seat is empty and there are no occupied seats adjacent to it then it becomes occupied if a seat is occupied and four or more seats adjacent to it are also occupied the seat becomes empty so if it is occupied, uh, let's see. So, if it is occupied, and so and there, so the seat becomes empty. So we want this to return true. If it should keep being occupied, right? Uh, and what is wrong here? Uh, what what the seating is a set Couldn't match expected type list of ints. Oh, this is from distinct ask lists. We don't need that. Okay. Uh, so we did fix EQ before also. So we'll say fix EQ. 
a that takes an eq a and a function from a to a an initial element and returns an a so fix eq uh, f a equals case a is equal to f of a that is a otherwise fix eq f f of a so we will print no so now we have update yeah print eq uh fix eq uh so the seating seating is the test input Okay, and we want to see here, print, fix, EQ, update, seating, set out empty. Uh, this is going to be a function. What's the size of this? Thirty-seven. Uh, okay, nice. So let's just apply this to the input. New file. like that let's see oops this should be pretty fast right it's just set operations sure come in Out vault. Okay. Oh. oh, yeah, I didn't compile. GC day eleven dot X day eleven semicolon measure command. Taking so long. Not good. Oh, two one eighty three. It took three hundred fourteen seconds. Damn, bro. How long was yours, Timmy? Fourteen seconds seems excessive. 12 seconds to 183. Let's see if it's the right answer. Uh, and you were just what? Updating an array? Or how are you doing it? Just a list? Array, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Valid neighbors. Okay, I don't actually need to do the intersection with seating here. Right? Because they will never be occupied. Let's see. Uh, 
But then I never look at the seating, right? Was that coffee? It's coffee. I just like the taste of coffee, you know? Um, so Tume is using an array. What, what I'm wondering is like, you know, we are just updating... We're just updating a set, right? And we're just talking about the set without updating anything. It's a bit weird, right? Uh, let's see. I mean, we could start off with saying seating here, right? Because in the first time, everything will be... Is your fix... Uh, oh yeah, no, that's true. I don't think it is. I mean, I think it might be. probably be twice as fast works for the test input at least pretty fast yeah okay now it's four seconds You can actually skip the first iteration by just saying seating here. Because in the first one, all of them will be full. Three point six. Let's see. So, you know what I what I want essentially is that I want it to be like subject to list fusion. That's what I wanted. I like want all of this what to just be boom, just chug on through, you know. <laughs> But it still takes three seconds, even with optimizations. <laughs> and I think it's because we look at... We look at every everyone in the map, right? Um... You guys have any ideas on how to speed this up? Guess not.
Yeah. I have a I have an idea. Let's stop talking about pears. Uh talk about insets. Um So will be inset. We will map. X times three plus Y times Now this doesn't work, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think it's also it's not only using it's not using a hash alg, right? What it's doing is that it's it's using the ORD class. Um, because you know, but like what I'm disappointed with is that you know because we're not actually array. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that uh, because I mean, yeah, we're essentially doing the same as to me, you know. We're but we're, we're like instead of keeping an array around, we're just we're just looking at we're just looking at the thing itself. Because now I'm worried that if I don't fix this right now, the second part will be super slow. Let's see. But I, you know, I, I like this formulation of the problem. Like it's just a set, and then you update the set. Um. So what I, you know, what we could do is like, can we like change the integers to be something different? I think it's also, yeah, I, I also think it's just because, you know, they put a lot of effort into optimizing data.array. Whereas set is like, it's because it's so general, you can't really do so much. Uh, and like, yeah, the sets is not a hash map. Now, how can we turn them into... So how many are there per line and then... So what I'm thinking is we could turn them into... So what's the length of a line? So the length of a line is going to be this string here. And we filtered out the ones uh, so what I'm so what I want to do here is instead of making this a list of int, I'm gonna do like the index in the line, which is gonna be i. Now, yeah. So the j, the j is gonna be length of ln. Um, so you, you see what I mean, you know, I want to make, so if this is, we have, uh, welcome to 
I can transform this into, you know, 12 if I knew that there's only 10 elements in the line. But I need to know how many lines I need to know. The number of elements in a line. So that's gonna be the it's gonna be the length of Ellen here. The, the length of Ellen. Times J. This is good because it's a set of ints. And then this is because it's a set of ints. And then neighbors. Neighbors will become a bit more complex. Uh, neighbors will just take in an int. let's let's figure it out here so this is going to take in an int and then line ln okay and now num set well at neighbor set intersection occupy neighbors loc line ln La neighbors will take in an int I know, this is... we don't want this, wait. So... So... To... From line ln... That's gonna take in, you know, a line length and an int and a turn a pair. from line ln line ln that's gonna take a that's gonna take a, a e i it's gonna be comma i mod line ln is gonna become i div line ln to line ln yeah okay i'll look at part two i think i'm spending too much time here right Resume. They don't just care about distance. They care about the first seed they can see in each of those eight. Di oh my god! For example, the empty will see eight occupied seats. She. This is this is a bunch. You said 220 milliseconds for for the second part. It was fast. It was faster than your first part. That's impressive. That's very impressive to me. Um, let's see.
So this will take in Okay, yeah, 2,200. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like this. So here we're going to delete. We're going to delete X. Sip this with XS and then we do length of the head of XS. Set dot from list of concat map of like this. And now what is it the saying that this X is not used? What? Uh, imp. 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 Now this will be seating line and then update seating, update line and then seating. Still get the same answer but not as much faster let me say present as set int we're gonna change every set into in int set so here 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 and that is gonna be Let's check if it's actually the like the pairs that we're doing. Oh wow! See, we changed it to integers, and it's much faster. We were like spending so much time messing around with the 
I think because because the insets are actually not um, insets are not like they they don't use the ord class and they don't like like use unbox ints and stuff instead. So it takes four hundred twenty six milliseconds, and that's that's the same. That's you know that's the same as Timmy you know and that's the thing you know that's like. <laughs> This was weird. We were doing correct things, but not quickly enough. So, you know, check your data types. If you if it's going slow, it's probably because it's not inset. Let me show you inset. Data.inset. That was Coca-Cola. Uh, yeah. Nice. So this was faster. Oh, can we say not member here? Probably not faster, right? I mean... Wow. Timmy, you can't just keep upping the bar, you know? We had a deal. So here we will say then we will return null Null occupied neighbors. I think it's quicker to see if it's null and to check if the size is zero. Uh, Occu. What is. Oh. Set dot null. Uh, otherwise. Otherwise, you do this. Okay, it doesn't matter too much. Um, We don't think we don't need to. No, okay, this is fine. I think this is fine. Null checks and no, it's not null. We're checking if it's so null here. Null here is just a function, right? It's set dot null, right? Is the set empty? So it doesn't it doesn't actually check if it's a null pointer or anything, right? It's it's just a function called null. I really wish this chat here showed all the smileys. It's a bit of a shame. Okay, so now we've uh, we've uh, we've done this quite fast. Okay, let's let's get status. Get at day eleven. Let's push part one. Now let's see. Okay, now we need to figure out these line of sight stuff. Now, instead of considering just the imme immediately adjacent seats, consider the first seat in each of those eight directions. The empty seat below would see eight. 
Occupied seats. The leftmost empty would see would only see one empty seat, but cannot see any of the occupied ones. Okay. Oh, she, 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 she. It's gonna be something, right? The empty seat will low, which see no occupied seats. Okay. going to have to discern between an empty seat and floor. Yeah, that is true. At least we have the inset going, right? Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen here. As soon as you start drawing, people just later can refer to the can see in each of the directions. As a bit more, it takes five or more visible occupied seats for an occupied seat to become empty. Alright, let's copy this. So, solution one is gonna be we're gonna take in an inset. And we're gonna take in the line length and we're gonna do this. Solution one of seating line length is equal to fix EQ. Uh, int, and this is gonna be set to dot size print solution one uh, seating line one now we're gonna have to write to change our occupied function I'm glad we didn't spend super much time on like figuring out like some rule i mean we could have done that and that would have been neutral here but like now we have to change in all the rules so update two um solution two is going to be So what are they gonna what's gonna be the empty seats? It's just everything from Okay, so let's just check here. Um This is actually just gonna be taking a string. Let's see. Get inputs, inset int. It's gonna be three ints here. And from lines, this is gonna return. Uh, it's gonna be a, uh, some I, I. And we're gonna return. 
From lines of I. And we're going to do the length of the lines of I. Like this. Uh, yeah. Okay, now get input here. Line, ln, and then it's gonna be num lines. This is gonna take int and another int. Okay, and it's gonna be num lines. So where empty seats equal that is going to be zip zero to this is the x coordinate line ellen uh, and zero to num lines this is the y coordinate And we are going to say set dot from distinct ask list f oh wait we're gonna map map two lines uh two what do we call it two line ln two line ln line ln uh it's gonna be so the empty seats are the seats so these, these are all the seats so everything on the map seat uh, and then we're gonna say seat uh, set dot difference with seating uh what is wrong here oh yeah Set set dot from distinct ask list dollar. These are gonna be the empty seats. Okay, um, there because they're gonna be fixed. Okay, now let's see here. Let me just reply to one message. Uh, hold on. Some people are going to bed. That's okay. We aren't finished yet. So hopefully if we finish soon, this is going to be a solution too. This is going to be We're going to say update to it's going to take in the line length of the seating and the empty empty uh, no, floor is going to be floor actually it's it uh, now this is floor now it's asking me to can I just do control period on this uh okay now it's like trying to apply the hint whatever move oh okay yeah I can do this And now it's telling me to do sip with curry. Sip with curry to line Ellen. Uh, line Ellen. Okay.
That just works. Multiple declarations of update 2. I don't know about that. Um, nice. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to take solution to seeding line LN. Uh, it's gonna take in num lines. Let's see. Let's see what we can make happen here. Because I'm a bit I'm interested. Oh now it's saying 32. It's supposed to say 37, right? We still get the right answer for the input. <laughs> yeah, it still gives the right for the input, but not. That is disturbing. That is very disturbing. Should we just like try and see what happens and like hope it doesn't hope it doesn't crash and burn? I mean, yeah. Okay, so let's just try it and then... And let's figure out what will happen, right? I mean, if it doesn't work on the input, at least we know that we can change everything around so that it becomes back to the 37 it was earlier. I think it's probably something here. Um, see, line LN. Line LN, line LN. Let's make this just bigger. Times 10. <laughs> I think maybe that's what's happening. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So the thing is, I think we need to go up to line LN plus one. Otherwise, it will like be a factor or something like that. Oh no, Jesus. Oh. No, oh, okay. It works with 10. 
Let's just, I think, because, like, it just has to be big enough. Uh, line, LN. What about times two? Let's, let's have it some nice prime number. 17. Big prime number. Oh, yeah, sheet. That's what we were wrong about. We need to do both sides. Let's see here. Where factor equals line ln plus one. Div factor mod factor. Let's see what happens. Now it's 70. Jeez. Oh, yeah, because we didn't change the. This is going to be factor equals factor fun of line ln. And this is going to be factor fun line ln times j fun line ln equals line ln plus one because I think I think it's enough to go up just to the one but uh, yeah nice so we just we just uh, we weren't going up far enough but it just so happened that for the input that that didn't matter which is weird but okay now oh now it's a lot slower well a little bit slower because we have a way bigger number here why is it a lot slower oh yeah we're doing we're doing it twice makes sense Let's see. Yeah, it's still in the still in the range, right? Nice. Okay, now scene. Occupied scene. That's the function we have to create. Okay, now solution two update two needs num lines because solution two update two needs a num lines and it needs so it needs line ln num lines and seating and floor line ln num lines seating floor. Uh, which is going to be an int and an int and yeah okay so how are we going to do this okay so let's generate the lines you can see from the It's gonna be similar to neighbors. In the sense that we're just gonna like aggressively generate what you might see. 
but uh, and then filter it out. Scene line ln lines num lines. So this is gonna take in another int. So instead of saying here minus one zero one, we say so this is for the this is the a's. That's the x's. So we say minus line ln up to line ln. It's gonna be minus num lines up to num lines. Uh, so let's say here bound line that is gonna be uh, bound line x that's gonna be a x larger than or equal to zero and x less than line ln plus one bound lines bound so it's gonna be bound x because you don't want to be don't want to be checking too many of them bound y equals y is larger than or equal to zero and y is less than num lines plus one so we don't have to generate exactly but we have to generate filter bound x we have to make sure that we generate them they're not too bad right because like at the at the ends we will be like discarding almost all of them filter yeah this is gonna be filter bound y like this and that'll generate like all the lines you can see right no it will generate oh it will generate this will generate everything because it won't generate like only the diagonals um I mean, so yeah, the problem here is the diagonals, right? So it's gonna be, we're gonna hold X fixed and that's gonna take all of the X's, right? Okay, so let's see here. Uh, so, okay, let's just say Horace is going to be, that's going to be, um, a X comma, just map, x uh, now this is gonna be y x comma yeah this is gonna be no this is gonna be x so the horizontal one is gonna we're gonna keep the y fixed or we're gonna map over the x and this is gonna be a We're gonna map this over the this minus a line ln comma zero. Oh shit. Line and let's just be a dot line ln, right? Like this. That's what we were supposed to be doing earlier also. So here we hold X fixed. Here we hold no. So here we're holding x fixed, a y fixed. Uh, but for vertical, we're holding uh, x fixed, and we go from minus num lines to num lines, and we're gonna apply the filter bound bound. Yeah, so we're gonna filter here. Filter bound. No. Okay, so so this is actually we don't have to do this. We just have to go zero up to line line plus one, and this is gonna be from zero. 
Uh, and then we, we don't need to bound them because we will we'll generate them such that they are in the are in the range. And then we have to generate the diagonals. We generated this and now we generate the diagonals. So it's gonna be like minus one, minus so it's gonna be zero, zero, right? Minus one, minus one, minus two, minus two, minus three, minus three, minus four, minus four. And that's just sip. Right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so this is one diagonal. And how is the other diagonal? Diag L to R is equal to Sip so the X coordinates go from minus line LN uh, To line LN So it's just like this and these uh, Y coordinates go from from a uh, minus num lines to num lines is, it, is this just like x minus line n to so this is like x plus minus line n to x plus line n plus one is gonna be y minus num lines y plus num lines and the other diagonal <laughs> goes like this so it's zero zero uh, no, it's okay. So if we have one one, then we want to go to zero comma two. So then it's minus and plus. So then it's minus and plus, right? I think so. Uh, so then this would go from. Uh, so here's the first diagonal, right? So we have, if, you have, if you're at 1, 1 and you go minus 1, 1, then you go 0, 0. Now you want to go. Uh, you want to have 5, 2, 2, sip. Does this even work? No. Let's see. No, this is too much. Okay, so then first if you write one one you want to go to X plus one Y minus one. Yeah So this is gonna be Reverse this 
Okay, now we have all these. So we're going to map. Uh, let's just debug doctor. So we, we should, we have to map, you know. So scene is going to be set.unions of Horace Verdi Diag L to R and Diag R to L. But we have to first map a to line Ellen of uh, line Ellen here. So this is not going to be even a, just it's going to be distinct, but it's I, you know it's not going to be not going to work. So we're just going to say delete the input from scene. Uh, map. This is not correct uh, because we mapped int. So this just creates all the integers, and then we have to say um, yeah. Okay, so this is just going to be set dot from list. But the problem with this, uh, okay, we have to map <laughs> concat map over this uh, map dot. Let me see, what should this be? This hole needs to go from a list of int comma int to a list of ints. So it's gonna we're gonna map to line Ellen. Line Ellen. Yeah. Nice. We don't need to bound. This is a dumb advice. Now let's with with these diagonals. You're in the middle. Are you going to see from the middle of the list? No, I mean I'm gonna. I am going to filter it out with the set stuff, right? I mean this is just like this. This is these are the entire lines. Uh, I just want to see what happens if I, if I do this, uh, debug trace show ID, trace show ID, trace show ID, and then can okay, see, so... Solution 2, update 2, update number, occupied scene. It's just gonna be seen. Line ln num lines. Let's just give it 0 0.0 to line ln. Uh, line ln 0, 0.0. I just wanna see what happens for 0, 0.0. Oh my god, there's something wrong here, yeah. Import debug.trace trace show ID. Let's see. Oh shit, I didn't want it for the input. Okay, test input.
So th this is the horizontal one, right? So we're, we're looking from 0, 0, we see those lines. And then we keep the X. So here we're keeping the Y fixed. So we, that's what we see this line. And then this is the vertical one, which is going to be this line. Then we have this diagonal. And we have the other diagonal. Uh, because what I want to do here is then I want to say... <laughs> um, right. So... So we can see here that this this starts at zero zero and, and goes okay let's let's do it for 1.1 instead. Zero zero is not a good example here. So then we're at 1.1 and then we should see um so we're holding fixed so we see zero one 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 two one so here we're holding the y fixed this is gonna be the vertical one this is the horizontal one. This is the... So, yeah, so we see 0 0.1, 0 0.0 here. And exactly, we see 0 0.3. We see 0 0.3. And we see... 1, 1, 2. Uh, wait, we see... So we see... Yeah, right. So we see... Like y coordinate three zero three yeah so we one one we say zero three or three zero and we want to see uh, and we want to see two one yes and three zero yes okay once you have all the seats in these lines. How are you going to find out which ones you can see? Because you can't see the... Yeah, I mean, I know. I'm just working on it. Uh, but let's... Let's first... Let's bound all of these. Somehow. Uh, first of all... We don't need this. This can be zero. And this can be zero. So this is a diagonal goes from one one, and this is the other diagonal, which is also supposed to go from zero Okay, now we have gotten rid of all the negative numbers. This is the vertical horizontal, vertical. Nice. Wait, no. Yeah, this is the horizontal. Uh, yeah, yeah. So here X is going, yeah? And then here Y is going up. Then we see the di diagonal up, up to the left and down to low. Uh, so this is reversed for some reason. Uh, but I mean, it is we call it reverse. But why do we? Why did we need it reversed? Right. 
So it's going to be X minus... That's what we wanted, right? Let's do it for somewhere that's not in the middle. So zero one. It's we keep the Y fixed horizontal vertical diagonal. So zero if you're zero, zero one, then you're here. Uh, okay, right. And then you shouldn't be seeing all oh, these are wrong diagonals. So if you're at one one, if you're at zero one, if you're at zero, uh, you're here, then yeah, then the you should see if you're at zero one, you should be seeing. You should be seeing uh, one zero. Oh, you should be if you're zero, zero one. Jeez, all these diagonals are they're a bit rough. So Let's do it a bit differently. So this is going to be west comma east. And we're going to do span. And we're going to do break equals uh, x comma y. And then we're going to do north and south that's gonna be break equals this comma y a map uh, yeah, of this stuff here and then it's gonna be a uh, south west to north east that's what this is intended to be uh, then we break on the thing here let's just use southwest Northeast and and then as you know, people know the directions, right? You don't have to specify directions. West, east, southwest, northeast. Uh, 
we don't want the one. And then how do I intend to use it, Timmy? I'm gonna, I'm gonna like find the first one from the direction I'm seeing that that is in that is the it is an element of the occupied set. Uh, break. That's my Y. Uh, dollar map. Y. Uh, X comma Y. No. Like this. And this is going to be northwest to. So this starts at southwest to northeast. This starts at northwest. It goes down to southeast. And uh, it should be reverse. This. Now seeing. It's going to be all of these. V comma E comma N comma S comma southwest comma northeast comma northwest comma southeast and we are going to say trace show ID of all of these so if you're starting at 0 0.1 so let's see then you're then you're like uh, you know then you are here 0 0.1 right makes sense so you don't see anything to the west and this is all to the east uh, why oh yeah this is a result and uh, we will drop 0 0.1 here now to the north you see 0, 0.0 and to the south you know you get yourself and then these okay now to the north west uh, you see so to the northwest you know that's here and that's nothing there right so those should all be uh those shouldn't be those shouldn't really be there so uh wait that's south that's supposed to be southwest am i doing it the wrong so this is actually this is actually northwest Two, and then it goes to one comma two. So it starts with U and it goes one two. It's going southeast, northwest to south, southeast. Okay. Um. But we only ever would like we want to start at zero and this way we want to start at zero We're gonna not gonna we're gonna even, not gonna even look at that part. Okay, ish do do do. So from so okay so the north west zero zero two zero three zero four. This is the so horizontal. 
is a vertical and then this is northwest southeast but this is actually this is actually southeast Okay, so we want to to take the up to the line numbers. Let's just do it. Let's not do this plus one thing. I think it's let me see. GGI is zero to two. Yeah, we don't have to do this plus one. Okay. Now we've generated the... The... Uh, the pairs. Um, but we want to map it. We want to actually map it so that... We're gonna say here it's gonna be map x comma y no a comma b two x plus a comma y plus b of the sip uh, which is gonna be the same as sip width of this function here. We don't need this dollar. We don't need this dollar. Uh, what is wrong here? Oh my god. I don't want to use that. Could match expected type int to int, comma int. First argument of sip with. Oh yeah, okay. This doesn't take. This actually takes in two numbers A and B. Okay. This now we're getting somewhere. Oops, I split it actually. Let's see. Let's see what we're getting. All right. This is not great content, I'd have to say. This is just like me hacking around, just looking at all the output. But this is like, this is 80% of programming, right? It's just, just trying to figure out what you're trying to do. Okay. So here is the vertical here's the horizontal this is so this is going to be zero one yeah and then it's so starting from there one two two three southeast yes nice and then there's nothing to the northwest that is absolutely like we want it northeast southwest that is going to be X is it just like this minus? Uh, let's see. E, no, exactly. No, that doesn't work. Um, so what are the uh, Right. So this is west, east, north, south, northwest. Southeast, north, east, southwest, because we want it to be kind of in the order we're defining it. Otherwise, the trace, because the trace is actually shown when it's evaluated, right? And that is, yeah. So that's it. That's going to be something else. This is a northwest, southeast. Now this is the. Northeast. So we want this to be one, right? 
We want that to be one. Um, Good. So for that one, we want to go uh, like this. So if we go to the northeast, then we go zero one. That's where we are, and we go one zero exactly. Uh, okay. But I think this actually only works for the northeast. Because so south, so we had southeast that went down, that went down, right? Yes, north. So this is gonna be this, this is not northeast, this is south, it should be southwest. So northeast is going to be. That's just going to be, um, I think that's how we have to do it. And then southwest is going to be A minus A, Y plus B. And here we want this, so this should be zero up to Y. And this should be zero up to x this should be so it starts with zero yeah i think that's it oh i think we have to do this for all of them So northwest is actually going to be northwest. Then we are adding to both. Uh, and then what is it? Southeast. Then we are. We are. No, no northwest. That's this direction. Then we're deducting from both. So this should go from zero up to X and to Y. Southeast, then we are adding to both. So this should go from up to X minus line Ln. And this should go uh, to Y minus num lines. Okay, for the Northeast, this should go to x minus line n so this is gonna go so north north means we're going up here northeast means yeah this is correct so but it should start so y minus zero up to y yeah this is so up to x and then it should be my minus num lines i think that's exactly the directions we can't do the break stuff. Um, okay, yes, so west, east, north, northwest, southeast, northeast, southwest. So we started at 0 0.1. And we got uh, this zero. Okay, so we go, and then this is the vertical one. Here we go one up. Uh, okay, so northwest, uh, we can't go anywhere except itself. Uh, this should be. Uh, wait, y minus num lines. Oh, yeah, okay. This should be. 
line line mine sucks we, we did it wrong why right otherwise because we saw that the they return empty there the lists themselves exactly so this should be the so northwest we can't go anywhere so this should exactly be just the point southeast should be that northeast and southwest okay it's all coming together yes okay um but because we don't want x in there we can just start all of these at one and then we won't get the uh, wait yeah no we need we need that actually so uh, because we need we need it for the other one right no I think we can start all of these out at one and it will be it will, it will all work out we start off at one and let's see see what happens here so we got horizontal so northwest there's nothing there right there's nothing here southeast that is so one two yeah and then the next coordinate is two three yeah nice okay uh so northwest and northeast seem to work or southeast and north east yeah that's only one coordinate and then southwest is also empty okay sweet how can you fix this tuple sections i don't want to use tuple sections okay these are all the ones like these are all the ones we can possibly see from our from where we start and crucially uh so what we so okay so we need to we need to generate this as a list so scene we need to consider this as a list oh chiro chiro optical is that like a chiropractor and a some optician something like that you gotta explain your name or not yeah I'm gonna say it's a free country but I don't I don't know what that is PR on the declarative programming streams wow yeah I'm just trying to keep Haskell cool because I do all my research in Haskell and uh, if nobody uses Haskell then my research won't be used so I'm just trying to show people that all the advent of code stuff like you can do it in Haskell it's gonna be look a bit different but you can do it and that's what we're here for so uh the west uh let's let's try for another point let's try for two two now we want to flip these around so that they are exactly in the order that you're seeing them from so okay so the west horizontal so these so Um, so because we don't see we see one two first right when you go to the west so to the east it's okay to the south it's okay uh but it's gonna be west and it's gonna so uh west it's gonna be reverse west prime 
and north is gonna be reverse of north prime i mean there's there's so many streamers oh is there a pr am i am i on uh oh cool no i didn't i didn't i didn't submit it must have been Trisniak. yeah he's been watching so but it's cool wow so many okay i was gonna say so many but wow <laughs> there's a couple it's definitely a couple that's nice okay uh let's see uh, i like the effort yeah i like the i like i like that someone's collating them you say calling collecting mm, looking at them all because uh, there's not yeah there's a bunch of us but there's not too many of us right okay so northwest is in the correct direction southwest southeast is in the correct order now northeast is also in the correct order and southwest is in the correct order so this is how it's going to be okay so oh we have a discord send the link i bet a lot of people on the stream wanna wanna join okay so let's uh so now we've we've generated the scene now let's let's check let's see here uh now we're no longer gonna so this is gonna be we're gonna take in the we're gonna in addition to the lines we're gonna take in uh we're gonna take in seating we're gonna take in floor we're gonna take in occupied so this is gonna be in set to in set to inset uh oh sweet i will join the discord uh not right now well can i if i push it does it work uh no okay i i don't want to do it because it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna show like a qr code i can take a picture of on my phone and I don't want that on the stream, but I'll join. Uh, I'll join after this one. I think I'm almost about to be finished. Okay, so what is the first one you see? So you can see over uh that makes sense i'll merge that piero yeah uh i think so i think i will either keep doing advent of code like from previous years or even do you know some more practical stuff you never know uh, but yeah merge it so i mean the plan is to continue but uh, i am <laughs> still in the process of thinking about what the content will be i think it also will depend a bit about on you know what people want to see uh well what i want to do first after aoc is uh there came out this is new stuff from amazon so you can like write like container api stuff so that you can like run lambda containers in any language as, as long as they implement this interface and i'm gonna make a haskell interface for that so we can like very easily run haskell programs on amazon lambda because you know <laughs> it's amazon lambda and it's it's really hard to run uh it's really hard to run haskell and like you should be able to run lambda code 
My name is on Lambda, okay? Jeez. So, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna filter all of these. Uh... Because we don't need... We don't need the ones that we can't see. Or like, we, we, we don't need to look at the ones which are floor. Do I even need to know what is the floor? I mean, I just have these. So let's, uh, let's check it. Let's see, uh... So, okay. First scene... Takes in a, a list of int, comma, int. And returns... Maybe... Int, comma, int. First scene... Empty list is nothing. First scene. Uh, uh, Loc. Locs. So. So, okay. Um, now, if it is the case that Loc is. You know, I don't, I don't need to check the floor, I think. I'm just not going to check the floor. So if it is a case that loc is occupied, uh, uh, Going to be set dot member uh, occupied is occupied is empty is going to be set dot member seating I need parentheses about this so. Okay, if the loc is occupied, occupied loc, then <laughs> then I wanna and then I wanna run, return. It's gonna be a maybe, let's say... <laughs> so the, f the first scene in this direction... It's gonna be either empty, or... It's gonna be occupied, or... There's nothing in that direction. So, this is just going to be a maybe int. So, if it is occupied, we add 1 to the number of... If it is empty, we don't add anything to the number. Uh, set dot member occupied, right. So, we have to do here... Uh, if it... Otherwise, we... Otherwise... Otherwise, like if it's not occupied, it's not empty. It's gonna be the floor. So let me say first scene, scene of the looks, and now where uh, I as look inset a line look. This is gonna be a two line Ellen, two line Ellen. 
line line ellen of log line log line log So here set dot members seating uh, uh what let's see is occupied should no is it occupied here? Am I doing the same thing again? Uh no wait is occupied takes in an int and returns a bool right is empty takes an int returns a bool what is wrong with seating here like a line so int num like a list oh oops takes in int uh, an int uh, and i don't use floor because i don't need floor uh, so I'll just I'll just keep it around, but I'm not gonna use it. Okay, so it's not gonna return an int set. This is gonna return an int, and it's gonna be some map maybe uh, first scene. Uh, we're gonna map this first scene on the list of uh, north. Wait, how do you go? North, east, south, west. No. Let's start from north. Let's go north, northeast. You go like the opposite way, right? When you're talking about compasses. Let's go there. Let's northwest, west, southwest, south. Uh, next up is southeast, then east, then northeast. Uh, and it has an issue uh, with this because. Uh, map maybe what is what is it complaining about use a type annotation northwest is a list of yeah map maybe takes a uh okay Uh, so first, first scenes, let's just, it doesn't know what the sum here should be. That's, that's a bit weird, right? Uh, first scenes is indeed, uh, uh, this events. And we gotta use a first scenes. But it's saying that it can't, it doesn't like this uh, for some reason. Because map maybe here is not in scope. That is the thing. Import data dot maybe. Okay, uh, now then we can just do some dollar of this. Okay, now this is gonna check the first scenes by checking the in the direction which ones uh, you see first, and it's gonna count the number of occupied seats you see. Uh, let's actually. I think that should be better, right? Let's let's count it like this. 
maybe int comma int. So if we if we find something occupied, it's gonna be one comma zero. Otherwise, it's gonna be one zero comma one. And then instead of saying sum, we say fold l. Uh, this is gonna be just actually just. So it's gonna be fold l of uh, x comma y to uh, so we have x comma y and we have the a comma b and we return x plus a comma y plus b so we update it all starts at 0 comma 0 and it doesn't like that well we'll even just do fold l1 it doesn't like that for some reason because uh, because uh, these uh, what what is going on here oh right and then we want to return okay so scene Let's check here. Okay, we'll, we'll be occupied. Okay, so we're gonna check here. We're not gonna check valid neighbors, occupied neighbors, occupied scene, blah, blah, blah. We're just gonna say, uh, occupied, oc, comma, empt. It's gonna be scene of line ln, num lines, seating, floor, occupied. And uh, let's let's just remove this floor here. Let's remove the floor here as well. A uh, floor. We don't need floor. Or we're going. We don't need floors. Numline seating floor. Now this should be numline seating. Like this. Okay, and now it's complaining that the scene we put in line LM, we put in num lines, we put in the seating, uh, we put in the floor, uh, and this is gonna be loc. So, no checking here, we'll be occupied next turn. So, this is going to check. Okay, if we saw... So, it now takes five or more visible occupied seat for an occupied seat to be empty. So, if awk larger than equal to five, then false. Uh, wait, did, did we do it? We did it somehow differently, right? We did it somehow by saying... Okay, if it, we didn't see... So, if the current one is occupied. So, let's see. If loc set dot not member occupied. So, if it's not occupied and we see and empt equals zero then it's going to be occupied next so we see no full seats else uh oc less than equal to five you think we got it let's see let's see what happens 28 uh, Let's see what happens if we do run this on the input. How long does it take? It takes 480 milliseconds and we return 336. Let's see. Uh, 
Okay, let's actually test it on this input first. Uh, these new seals, okay. But wait, for the test input, that was one we had, right? What did we get? Yeah, we, we got... We got something wrong, I think. I think we got 28 when we should be getting 26. Uh, we got 28 and not 26. Hmm. Did it work? Let's just check. Nope, that wasn't right. Uh, that was not right at all. Because so we we're getting a wrong number here. Why is that? <laughs> is it because we're not using the floor? Oof, this is taking long, right? We were gonna do an easy one, but... Uh, there are some nice smaller test examples for the seeing part. Yeah, that is true. The empty seat below would see eight occupied seats. Let's test that. Uh, let's see. Uh, TI scene one. Let's see. Uh, so this is going to be zero, one, two, three. Zero. Let's see. What is the coordinate here? Zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be four comma three. Let's test it. Let's test how many. Oops, this is day fourteen, right? Yeah. Oh, I put it in the wrong direction, didn't I? Yeah. It. Ti scene one. Uh, trace show ID. Let's see. Trace show ID. And, uh, uh trace. Sh let's, let's just write here, uh, res. Now, we, that's what we were testing earlier, right? Uh, trace show uh, So we're gonna say scene Line ln num line seating occupied four comma three uh, two line ln line ln four three uh, and then res threshold uh, uh, I want to show. Oh, I. Oh my God. Trace show. We're. I want to show this four four three. If I run it on TI input. Uh, 
Okay, let's let's just do it differently. Let's not do it that way. Let's uh let's just use it directly, right? TI scene one. Then we just want to print scene line ln uh, num lines seating what is it gonna be seating occupied uh but the seating uh the seating only checks for those which are l so let's change that wrong with this do, 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 do. they should work Now we will think yeah okay well we're, we're not looking at that anyway a uh, two line now we'll like think that uh occupied ones line ln or comma three but we need so we have seating and we will have seating again as occupied let's see So it says that th that this one sees so let's print seating that it sees three occupied and zero empty which makes sense but so this one would see eight occupied seats okay so let's let's uh try show all of these which ones is it looking at So it's looking at three three two three one three zero three. Now let's print map from line ln from line ln and num lines. No, what is it? What is it? From line ln uh, line ln and an I yeah. Uh. Uh, set dot map do, 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 do. Uh, I didn't like that because uh, oh this is two line Ellen what so I want from line Ellen yeah so I have a map a set of uh, yeah so this should be from line Ellen from line Ellen and then <laughs> what does it want there wants a whole type set key to set key yeah uh, Okay, so this is going to be an int to an int. Oh, okay, yeah, I can only map over the keys. Let's map 
from line ln from line ln uh, line ln a uh, dollar set dot to list let's see what are the seats here So zero seven one two two four three one three four three eight three four so zero seven. Uh, that is this one. So that should be in the uh, okay. So so this is the horizontal one, right? So it goes. Uh, no, which one is this? This is... This is a... Uh... Okay, let's actually change this a bit. Okay, S E N E S V trace show V and then N and it doesn't like it because I thought I did that already. Now let's see which ones are which. So, west, three, three, uh, two, three, one, three, zero, three. Did I just give it the wrong coordinate? So the X should be zero, one, two, three. Yeah, I think I gave it four three. It should be three four. <laughs> and it says eight. So it works for that one. So let's say so it's over west it says she's two four one four and then zero four and then two four is in the occupied so it sees that one okay that was ti scene one the leftmost empty seat let's see here uh let's make a new file TI scene 2. Okay, day 11. Let's see here. TI scene 1. TI scene 2. Get input 2. And it's saying that the leftmost empty seat would be below would see one empty seat. But can't see any of the occupied ones. So that one has coordinate uh, one one. Let's see. One one. So it should see one empty seat and nothing else. So should we, we should we get zero one out of it? T I seen two, and indeed we do get. Uh oh shit! <laughs> Accidentally pasted it. Uh, then we then we get well we get one zero. Because I don't, I don't distinguish occupied from empty. 
No, wait, that was... That's not the thing. Yeah, I, I just don't distinguish occupied from empty in the... Parsing stage. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a... Sh two, two seconds. Hello again. So we need to change our parsing a bit to distinguish empty and uh, from line. So, uh, So It's gonna be uh, equal equal to C, and it's gonna be we're gonna pass C here. So and then we're gonna say from lines. It's gonna be uh, empties, and it's gonna be from lines. Uh, uh, occupied and then like this right oh sheet right it said come on int like this oh my god this is such bad code, y'all. So this is, this is gonna be empty seats. And then it's gonna be occupied. And the line length is gonna be the same. And then the lines. So this is gonna be empty seats. It's gonna be seating. And then it's gonna be occupied. Empty seats. Now, paste this. Except we change this to two and we change this to one point one And it didn't even compile. Well, no, it compiled it just We didn't try to compile Yeah, see and now it says 0 0.1 so it says sees One empty seat to the right the empty seat below would see no occupied seats. Uh, new file TI scene 3. Okay, let's see. Let's actually have it solve everything as well. Seating, uh, occupied, whatever. 
Run lines. And in C A T I scene three we say for X is gonna be zero one two three. Y is gonna be zero one two three. Three point three. Let's see what happens. Let's see what it does. Oh. Uh, oh. TIC3. Oh, fold L1 empty list. E. Okay, that happens if there's nothing, right? See again, we don't want it to crash. That would be bad. Oh no, it's doing the trace for the solution as well. Let's not do the solution. And uh, so, I mean, I. It seems like it's doing everything correct, right? What is this 3 3 here? Uh, that is the print of the empty seats. So for TSC 2, we have two empty seats. For TSC 1, we have one empty seat. At 3.4. And, uh, okay. So the vision... Like, according to the test examples, the scene part seems to be correct. So I don't think I don't think that is the issue here. We seem to be counting those correctly. Um could it be this? I hope not. Do, 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 do. Okay, these still work. Now let's uh, stop the trace. Still says 28. Now, uh, so do we have to start with empty CD? No, wait. Oh, okay. Update two. This should be less than five, right? I mean, now we get, yeah, uh, uh, but we have to. Now we get seven. What? Oh my god. I just want it back to when it said 26. So what are, what are we what are we tracing here? Trace show. Oh, okay. I just want it back to when it said What did I change? Uh, 
I change this to fall down. I think I because I don't think I. Oh yeah, no. That shouldn't matter, right? Okay, so so if if the seat is not occupied, if the seat is empty and there are no, let's just check that right. So if it is if if the location is not occupied. And there are no occupied seats adjacent to it the seat becomes occupied okay so if it's not if it is occupied and four or more seats adjacent to it are also occupied that seat becomes empty <laughs> but now it only says seven it said 26 before. Do -do 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 -do. Otherwise, the seat state does not change. Uh, this is solution one. Line 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 num line sitting occupied. Yeah. What did I change to make it make it like this? I changed this, right? No. because I, th I think it's correct now I was just I had this lesson 5 here wrong but now I can't figure out what I changed to make it uh, let's just save as day 11 backup now let's just undo I already did all this change. Okay. Uh. No. Okay, why? It like reset my buffer? That is not what I want to do if I do save as.
Why does it keep saying zero? Why, why do you keep changing this? Oh, it just stops after one iteration? Sitting. Now it says four. Okay, so this, this, this one here should be a five. But it's like it's not tracing anything because it's, it seems like it's not running trace show ID update 2 oh here it is okay so it starts with these occupied right here res equals and then we just say trace show uh, show dollar set dot from so map to line ln line ln a uh, a uh, set dot from list res no set to list res res this it doesn't like because can much type int with int int Uh, this is supposed to be from it starts with oh okay so it starts with zero 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 one zero eight zero nine nine zero nine seven nine nine But if I but I start off with set dot empty. So it should uh, it should put all of them there, right? The first one should be no. The first one shouldn't be all of them. So zero 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 one zero eight zero nine. Okay, so it says all of them. So all of them will be here. After the first one. This is a backup. 
Yeah. This should be set dot empty. Good thing to make sure. Okay. show uh map from line res res is update line solution to seating i print oh so it just gets an empty list do, 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 do. That's the seating. But then it seems like the ones that it says will be occupied is somehow wrong. <laughs> okay, so occupied is nothing um <laughs> so in the beginning this will be trace show id let you see all the traces here It sees. Oh, I think I have something wrong with it. If a seat is so, if a seat is not occupied, and there are no occupied seats adjacent to it, so if you there, you can see. Oh, so this should be. So if it's not occupied so this should be if it is occupied so if it's so if a seat is empty and there are no occupied seats adjacent to it that seat becomes occupied if this should be arc equals zero if a seat so if it's if it's not occupied then it is empty and there are no occupied seats next to it adjacent to it then it's keeping us occupied if a seat is occupied and four or more seats adjacent to it are also occupied um, do I just not need to Count the empty. Oh, now it says 26. Which is the right answer, right? Then we don't need to count this. But why do we need to count it? We didn't need to count it here either. We, we said, why, why were we counting the empty seats? Oh, we were just counting it for like the, if we could see it, right? Okay. Uh, then let's remove the trace. again <laughs> Tr 
trace. Okay, now it says printing. We don't need to print. Let's see. Do you see this? Uh, we don't need occupied. And we're going to look at input, test input. Versus the input. I'm just going to run it, see if I get the correct answer. And if it works, then I can just remove like the count of empty. That was only used for... For... Um, that was only used in the in the like in the visual tests right let's see all right we finally did it damn <laughs> uh okay so we generated these diagonals and lines and stuff and then we got the wrong answer for a while uh but it was only because of this awk so we like we screwed up just this part and we were like trying to figure out where the error was in this part uh which is you know it's it was sad it's actually sad and it runs in four seconds so we're not even close to to me uh but we're doing a lot of set operations and stuff But, uh, yeah, I'm just empty happy I finished it, because, damn. Uh, that was... That was rough. Rough, actually. Um... So, let's see here. Um... Yeah, okay. Anyway, we made it. Uh, it's been quite a marathon of a day. We've been doing and a bit of code streaming for six hours today. Uh, I want to thank Timmy for sticking around the entire time. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, I don't know. I don't think this was good stuff, actually. I don't, this was just a, a bunch of stuff we had to do. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> this was the best you could find. <laughs> Me streaming, I'm, but I'm grateful. It's a, uh, it's nice. Why are you unemployed though, to me? You're a good programmer. You should, you should be getting, getting offers. I would hire you. That's for sure. But, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a company right now. Oof. Yeah. Oh, shit. But four seconds, that's that's lame, you know. I I I'm surprised. I thought that uh, I thought that it wouldn't be like that. So okay, first of all, first scene loc locs. Now my question here is why are we doing why are we why aren't we just uh so what we should be doing here is just be imp these both should be imp uh these should be Two line loc line ln uh, two line 
line oh shit two line ln uh same for all of these two line ln line ln and then this is going to be is occupied line loc i mean it doesn't doesn't matter when we do it right uh let's just uh what's so all we don't need this let's just say nothing here um, there's like there's nothing here I see that's like oh this is causing the slowdown oh shit let's say uh, let's fix all of these let's uh, try to profile GHC profile uh, then we do something let's just see where to spend all its time GC prof never done this on windows though so let's see if it works day 11.hs we compile with profiling good stuff we run it with profiling day 11.xe plus rts a minus p it runs and now it will tell us where it's spending all its time but of course it takes a lot longer because we're doing profiling as long as it's not racial profiling okay i don't know i don't know if that was appropriate that was probably politically not appropriate thing to say on street but you know the cops do that and that's not okay yeah so it spends 31 percent of its time in two line scene dot period period so line 55 56 is where it's spending all its time 55 oh okay this stuff We could fix this stuff, right? You think it's it might be the the, the break? Let's say west. Uh, we don't even need to reverse. West is just gonna be yeah. We need to re. West is just gonna be map. X goes to X comma Y of zero. uh so and it doesn't start at zero it starts at it's going to st so it's this is west so it's going to start um right so it's going to go from x minus a so this is going to be just a and we're going to start at x and we're going to go up until uh, x minus line no line ln minus x right so then the, we hold y fixed and we go like this we go we start from x uh so we go no 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 we don't start we start this is gonna be plus no this is gonna be minus yeah we start from x and we want to go x minus x is gonna be zero and then 
we want to go all the way up to X. So it's going to go up to zero. So it's going to be zero, zero to X, and this is actually going to be one to X. Reverse of this. And then, and then we have to reverse it again. Uh, west prime. No, okay. East. No, okay, let's just define north. Because that's going to be the exact same. Except then we're, we're doing here and we're going to reverse 1 up to Y. Okay, now east. Then we're going to be adding. And we're going to be adding 1. And we're going to be adding all the way up to line Ellen minus x, right? So that will take us all the way to the end. And then south, same again, plus a1 up until num lines minus y. Why though? Let me see. Uh, and it doesn't like this because it's already defined here. So west, north, east, south. Let's see if it's any faster now. Let's see if it even gives the same result. No, it doesn't even give the same result. Why is that? Uh, because maybe it's because we reverse too many times here. see why can't we what is the difference here so going to the west we hold y fixed and we're going we're going one so we end up at zero Uh, so it becomes, uh, you know, x minus 1. It becomes x minus x, and then x minus 1. Uh, this should actually, we should not reverse these. I think that's the issue. So it's looking at the wrong first. Okay, that's still wrong. So uh, first we see. Okay, we. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we don't reverse this. <laughs> that's still wrong. Okay, so I think west and east are now right. Okay, so Okay, so for when we're going east, then we start with x plus 1, right? And that's This is I think this might be it. No reversing anywhere. Yeah, that was correct. Okay. Let's see. Now, what is the issue? <laughs> oh no, I compiled it again. Let me see. Plus RTS slash play. 
day11.exe plus rts-p compile it and run it because I, I you know I, I feel like these shouldn't be that bad in some sense you know Is it working? Okay, this is just frozen. Let me see. Let's just compile it and then run it. Why is it so slow? It's way faster earlier, right? Uh, let me delete this. Okay, now let's run it. Profiling. So two line Ellen is taking a long time. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. using that a lot right and then we go like back and forth here which I feel we probably shouldn't right let's see profile again again okay now it took 10 seconds with profiling on Spends a lot of its time in neighbors. Uh, and then generating all these lines. Scenes is empty. Seen this video we have seen. Yeah, generating all the lines takes a lot of time. What if we we mem we can memoize it, right? Uh, it's gonna be a map of a int two list of list of int comma int, right? Let me see, uh, because we're like every iteration we're computing it all, right? So first of all, I'm going to then, we're going to make these, we're going to map uh, to line Ellen, line Ellen on these all, and then this is gonna be this is just gonna be loc and loc and this is gonna be just an int or a list of ints uh let's see yeah, yeah i mean this will be fused okay now scene map int to this list of ints memo uh so we were gonna see a uh, uh, 
is going to be here. So we're going to see uh, Deers is going to be this thing. Deers. So we're going to say case lookup uh, map dot map dot lookup. Uh, no, we're gonna just say case memo map map dot. Uh, we're gonna look up uh, the input of just uh, dears these is equal to these. Otherwise, we are going to. We are going to say a. Uh, we're going to say like this. Uh, so here we're going to say import data dot int map. Import qualified int map as I am. Data dot int map. Uh, so then we're going to make this into a uh, int map and I am dot this now this is going to be an int map so we're going to return the result and the int map int Okay, and uh, now we return this. Uh, memo I am dot insert. Uh, I am dot insert uh, imp uh, where so let ds equals in a uh, ds comma I am insert ds memo now we return this comma memo prime okay so now we don't calculate on any of these unless we've never calculated them before so this is going to be where arc comma memo is the result of this uh, but it needs it needs memo prime memo uh, so it takes in an offset set uh, and it should take in this int map int and return inset int map int uh, return res memo prime and we take in occupied and we take in we take in memo and uh, memo define but not use memo prime oh okay right actually let's just not use scene ever
So we're gonna say compute diags equals something and then compute diags is equal to where We have to take in the line and the int and the seating. Uh, we're going to take in the line ln. We're going to take in the num lines and the seating. No, we don't need to take in the seating. So uh, we calculate all of these. And we just say memo I am dot insert input uh, uh, and then northwest southeast northeast southwest west northeast south memo and we have to calculate X and Y here Okay, and so we compute the diagonals. Now, this is going to be diags. We don't actually need these. Now, we are going to say uh, here's is going to be uh, diags map dot period uh, of the input. Um, I am dot imp. This is wrong because kid match type key inset with int. Oops. Uh, okay, yeah, but it's because we took taking too many things now. So we take in the diags. We don't need anything else. Turn the end. We don't need these to. So we compute the diags first, and then we pass that along to the scene. Now this will be seating. Will be diags. It's not gonna be memoized. We're just gonna pre-compute it once. Uh, so we don't need. This is gonna be diags, and then this is not gonna be anything. And then we are not gonna return the memoized thing. It's gonna be fine. So die num line seating diags uh, So I don't think we need we don't we're not gonna even do it this way. We're just gonna say just give me all the diags. Uh, because we don't need this, and then we're gonna say int here, and then we're gonna say update to uh solution two is where diags equals I am dot from a uh, list. Uh, we have to map it all over all. Uh, map. So we're gonna say compute diags line ln num lines over the uh, over over everything in seating, right? Uh, of a uh, set dot 
elements of a seating and it's complaining that it wants a list a list of ints uh right so this is gonna say map i over to compute dix line ln i and it's gonna be you know i comma set dot lms seating now this will be uh this will be an int map of a list list of int and now this should be okay so you computed this and we're not going to return this we just return this and we re remove these Seating, uh, occupied, um, what is he complaining about? Yeah, okay, I can remove this here. Fusion. Okay, uh, it's a res here, because we're, we're only going to return the yeah, set. We're not going to be memoizing anything. Uh, we don't need the num lines. We don't need these anymore. We just need the diagonals. Now, update. This is going to take line ellen and it's going to take cheating and diags. Uh, so, compute diags. Let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. This is gonna be like this. We are all gonna see. Now, let's see. Because we were spending most of our time uh, recomputing those diagonals. Uh, which was totally unnecessary, right? Now let's uh, let's run the profiling thing. Uh, and that was for the test input, right? Let's compile it again and run it on the real input. So see what happens. Because uh, now it should be much faster, right? That was not 10 seconds. Scene. Line 55 to 65. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that we spend a lot of time in scene. But at least we're not recomputing diagonals. We just look them up. We're spending a lot of time in scene 55 to 65. Uh... And we're folding. Uh, let's see. We're not going to test this anymore. Let's see. Let's see how it just runs regularly. Now, with like the speed up and... Uh, Let's actually optimize it as well. Okay, now it runs in 1.5 seconds, which is a lot better than the previous three seconds. Now, what can we fix? Uh, wait, so was one is, so, and we're also doing, we're doing both. Let's see how fast we are with only the second part.
No, no. I keep doing this. All right, now it's down to one second or uh, 850 sometimes. 850? That's about the same time as you, Timmy, right? Uh, I think so. He's, Timmy's been saying that the new estimate is to 850 milliseconds, and now we're there. It's pretty good, right? I think so. Uh, let's see. How, how more... So now we're like digging a bit into GSC profiling, right? Is occupied takes a lot of time. That makes sense, you know. Uh, let's see if it is empty. I think so. I think we could check. We would so yeah. I think because like here we're like this. These sets will overlap. Uh, they will all overlap a lot. So. So let's check. Um, scene. <laughs> hmm. 450 milliseconds. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, our 850 with a bunch of set stuff. That's uh, that's not bad, right? Now let's see here. Um, from line, Ellen. Uh, where? So what? What are we paying for? Uh, let's. <laughs> let's compile it and optimize it and profile it. How do I pass O3 through G's? I I'm not sure. I mean that's why I. I don't really use stack. I only just I just use Cabal because uh, that's what works for me. I'm spending thirty two point five percent of its time in is occupied. That's a bit much, right? I mean, well, no, but, uh, like, this steers, like, it takes, uh, 8% eight, eight of the time, it's just, just looking up the directions. Uh, there's Diags, I am in... <laughs> I think like in the stack.yaml there is like a there's a field you can change to set that that should work Okay, now I'm going to stop computing the 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 second one here because we don't need it. So first scene is going to be like if it if it is occupied, it's going to be one. If it's empty, it's going to be zero. Otherwise, it's going to be the rest. Now this is not going to be this. This is just going to be some of uh map maybe so first scene here will be zero and this is just like a list of ints to int 
Uh, and now this is the list takes a list of ints. List the list of ints. But it's complaining, yeah, because it I it uh, I want to return this. Now scene will just return arc. That's gonna be fine. And actually, we don't even need to do this, right? We don't. We just need to check if there's if it's more than five. That's that 1.52 seconds. Um. I'm not sure that will help. My uh, any occupied and five or more occupied are taking six and seven percent from me as well. Right, but six and seven percent for you, but uh, thirty-six percent for me. What are you spending your time on? That's the question, right? So what I want to do here is instead of this int set. occupied like that, that would be nice right so because like cause now i'm checking if it is a member of the set but i really just want to check like this integer what is it um but then i need to like update the map and stuff so i think i think i mean i think it's not you're not wrong I mean, so you set up member. I mean, it's not that bad though, right? Okay, so... So for scene... So this is seating occupied. Okay, let's see here. So update 2. So... Uh, so occupied and empty is going to be uh, seating and then the set dot difference with occupied so instead of saying here scene based on occupied so instead of saying here seating we'll just look at empty That should be a slight, it's slightly, it's a much, not a much, it's a, it's a much smaller set, right? And then it takes, with profiling, uh, it still takes the same. I mean, this is just slightly smaller. Okay, uh... Update 2 will be occupied, yeah. It's just so weird that it's like just this line here takes uh, takes 11% of the time. Just looking up in the map. Let's see. Yeah. So that's uh, that's a bit disappointing actually but maybe it's because it's like looking at any ints and um... yeah I mean anyway this is quite fast um... so let's let's just kind of fold this here and just say set dot member of occupied and then here we say look uh, yeah. oops 
set dot member of seating no of, of empty and this is is empty Yeah, I think I'll I'll go to bed too very soon. I think I think this is as good as it gets for us uh, today. It it does quite well. Uh, Tim is array based approach was quite good. Um, but I think our our set based approach. I mean, it wasn't. It's not bad, you know? And it's running in like 800 milliseconds. Which... which is pretty fine. I think it's... Uh, I think it's... I think that's not... not bad enough. Uh, not... not too bad. At least. And... Uh, let me just see... And the profiling says that, you know, it's spending most of its time in the functions that make sense in the sense i mean so it goes a lot of times into this goes so many times into first scene oh shoot my keyboard is going wild you see how crazy it's going i think it's because i had to so i like having it like this but uh yeah it was going wild so wait let me see so we go we go a lot of times into first scene. We go a lot of times, yeah, because it's for every direction. And we compute the diags, but like computing the diags, yeah, that's I mean that's like a fraction of the time because we just we don't do it that often. Get input. Now is occupied. Can we somehow? Optimize is occupied. Um, <laughs> I think we can by uh, figuring out the floor we had the floor earlier and then sending that into the compute diags because if there's a lot of floor uh, so we don't need to check whether there's an empty seat or not on the floor but there's not so much floor but let's see let's see that one last optimization we can do uh, int set. Now, I think we had... Where... How do we calculate the floor again? Uh, you know, this is not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be... Int set. Like this. Floor. Okay, and then uh, we say map filter set dot lm uh, set dot member floor, and we will we will make sure that we are only looking at the ones that are not on the floor. Okay. Uh, so compute diags will have to change. So okay, so so floor is equal to so we essentially generate all the coordinates by doing x y into x comma y and doing this trick again. So it's going to be zero to line ln 
as star to zero through num lines and so this is going to be all the coordinates and then we're going to say map to line ln uh, line ln and then we're going to say set dot from ask list even uh compute dx num lines floor let's see let's see if this speeds it up a tiny bit right so this is everything but then we have to from that set dot difference uh, seating remove all the seats from that all right now it's running in th 300 milliseconds and we Tim is running at 450 milliseconds we beat it we did it we got faster than Timmy uh, is that oh no it's giving the wrong result damn it I think this needs to be set from list No, damn it. Oh, shit. It seemed so good. Um, but if it doesn't work... No, it didn't win, Timmy. It's giving the wrong result now. Uh, let's see. Uh, trace show ID. I mean, this is not gonna, yeah, it's gonna return all the numbers. So, seven for the input zero, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The first one should be like zero times. So the first one should be ten. But ten is not even in the list. Let's see. Let's see what we're doing wrong now. Uh, X is they go from zero to line len. Yes. And this goes to zero to num lines. Let's see. Uh, let's not trace show ID here. Let's trace show ID here. Uh, let's just see what we get. Wow, so many lines. Um, let me see. So 34 goes all the way up to 91. Are there how many? Am I like screwing it up? Let's say, let's say, let's run it on the test input. And let's see for the test input. <laughs> do, 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 do. So then it goes from zero to ten. There's ten lines, is there ten columns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay, that doesn't tell us anything. Let me just see. If I add a dot, then would be eleven.
Uh, is it wrong somehow? No, yeah, so we run it again. Yeah, okay, so the X's go from 0 to 11. So, okay. What is the... Okay, so I... Okay, so I think the floor is being computed correctly. Um... And so we take the set of everything, remove everywhere, we remove everywhere that's a seat. And what do we get? Let's run it for test input and let's let's see uh, trace show ID and let's see what happens zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve ten twelve thirteen seventeen fourteen Zero. Uh, okay, this is. We can't read this. Let's. Uh, uh, we're gonna say four. Uh, oh no! We we want not member here. should be not an ask list we already fixed that earlier we're still getting 71 let me see we don't filter for the floor we get the correct 26 <sighs> okay Fil fil I mean, am I going crazy? Filter... Filter... Returns the list of those elements who do not satisfy the predicate, yeah? This should be... Set not member floor. That's for sure. Now, this... Oh, sheet. When we did it. So this should be... Okay. Set dot difference seating. Okay, twenty six. Sweet. Is it okay for it to be an S ending list? I think we generated it that way, but will it work? Yes, it still works. Now let's run it for the input. It's telling us if we can do this. I mean, yeah, it's running, running even slower now. Seven fifty. Scrolling up, scrolling down. 450, yeah, okay. Didn't help that much. But it does something. So now we're only looking, so we only look now for when it actually matters. Okay, let's profile it again. 
now I think we've kind of applied all the domain specific knowledge we, we have let's see what daily one lemon prof works out to be uh, I think we need to open it again spends all of its time in scene uh, and that's because it's spending all of the time not in first scene but it's like hmm so it's taking the sum in the map of Can I do any here? Uh, let's see. Well, how about if since I'm doing some, I just do length of the filter of any no links uh, so any this is essentially going to say any is occupied right so first scene is going to be any first scene is equal to uh any is loc set dot member occupied of the yeah So this is going to be length of the filter id first scene. Uh, let me see. Filter first scene of diags. First scene takes a list of int. Ooh. Any loc, uh, any uh, oh, this baby dears. We don't need to do this case match thing here. We don't use empty either. But are we getting the right result still? Let's check. Let's check it. No, we're not we're not getting the right result even. running on the input though so if this were working this would be crazy fast no okay maybe not uh so this returns one uh if there's any so first scene any is occupied Oh no no that will let's not that's not run, returning the right one. That's not even returning the right thing. Uh, yeah okay let's go back to this. And 
let's go back to this and let's let's go back here so we're checking if they're is there occupied or empty Yeah, okay. That didn't work. Let's see. All right. Thanks for being. Let me see, this is doing the allocations. Uh, so, just, I know it's gonna be cheating, because I think Timmy didn't do parallelism. Let's see, par. Uh, parallel map. Pascal. I always screw up the L's. Uh, the L's. Uh, how do we parallelize? This is a parallel package. Let me see here. I'm gonna show you all how easy it is to parallelize Haskell. GCI import uh, import. Thanks for the follow. I've been here for like, geez, like seven hours today streaming. All of this good stuff. Uh, import. Control into parallel. Hell, that strategy. Ah, okay, we don't have that. So, parallel map does. I don't remember how we did it. I think it's just here in control and base par. Et conk. Yeah. Okay. Let's not do it. Because also, like, it's not enough to just set put par in there. We also need to like run it in parallel with the right command line arguments and stuff like that. Okay. Anyway, we finished day eleven, uh, and we finished day fourteen earlier today. So now we just have day twelve. Uh, to catch up on and then we're back on the business all right thanks for today's session sorry for how extremely long it was uh we tried we did it in not such a long time but then we tried so many things to make it fast so uh and they made it a bit faster but not maybe quite as fast as we would have liked let me just add this to git add a uh, day 11 the HS uh, git add star input star git status let's all add all these ti scenes git add input git add ti git status git come uh, why 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 uh did we add the input before git commit am git commit um, day 11 you push all right now it's up on the uh it's it's up on uh, the uh the uh the github repository and big so jamming thanks for following and uh and uh yeah i just want to remind you all like if you have prime gaming 
it's like click the subscribe button <laughs> it gives me two dollars and i think it's hilarious to uh to get paid for it's me programming because i like doing this you know it's not about it's not about the money but it's funny that you can make i mean okay you can't make money uh in the sense that i don't think there's enough crowd you know that will watch programming live like there's so many people who enjoy watching games but you know maybe this is a new genre maybe we just started it right now anyway thanks again for watching and uh, catch you tomorrow for day 15 all right see you all bye bye